Five now, a UCF student is killed while out with his girlfriend in an Alabama state park. Investigators say the pair was flagged down by a woman claiming to need help. That's when they say she pulled out a gun and fired a shot. News 6's Catherine Silver is hearing from the dad of the victim's girlfriend. Catherine, really just an unbelievable story. What did he have to say? Well, he wants people to know what kind of person Adam Simji was. He says that he died protecting his daughter. I don't know if my daughter would be here today, but I'm very thankful that she is. Matt Paulus calls 22 year old Adam Simji a hero for his actions in his final moments. He credits him for saving his daughter, Michaela Paulus's life when their end of summer trip took a tragic turn. 1,643 days they, they were together. One day ruined most of that. According to a statement from the Clay County Sheriff's Office in Alabama, Michaela called 911 after her boyfriend was shot during an attempted robbery. She told deputies Simji, who was carrying a concealed handgun, exchanged gunfire with one suspect before he died. It's just a horrific situation all the way around. Paulus says the couple planned to take pictures at a mountain lookout. They were going to find a spot somewhere where Adam probably could propose to them because they had been very serious about the relationship. On their way out, they had a girl flagging them down with some car troubles. And Paulus, who is a mechanic, says they called him to ask for advice. Minutes later, they were both held at gunpoint. The Clay County Sheriff's Office says two women are now facing charges. They shared this picture of Crystal Pinkins. The second suspect, who is accused of shooting Simji, Yasmin Hyder, remains in the hospital. We just want to make sure that Everybody knows there's a lot more good people than there are bad people. Paulus says his daughter and Simji plan to build their life together. Both of their families are now left heartbroken. He was a quiet type, but he, he, he meant what he said and he, he did what he would say. He's definitely somebody you would be proud to call your, your son-in-law. Paulus tells me that the young couple loved to travel together, and this trip was actually supposed to be their last of the summer before they would start the fall semester at UCF. Simji was studying finance there. Now his friends and family are planning for his funeral. There is a fundraiser to help with those expenses. We have a link on clickorlando.com. I'm live in Apopka, Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.